The Battle of File was fought between Athenian exiles who were seeking to restore democracy to Athens and a Spartan garrison trying to protect the oligarchic Thirty Tyrants. In the battle, 700 Athenian exiles under Thrasybulus decisively defeated the Spartans, and their Athenian cavalry in a dawn ambush. Chapter 1 Prelude Following Athens' defeat in the Peloponnesian War, a narrow oligarchic government was imposed on the city by Lysander and the victorious Spartans. This government, which came to be known as the Thirty Tyrants as a result of its brutal actions, exiled or drove away a number of citizens. Many of these gathered at Thebes, where they received support and assistance from the anti-Spartan government of Ismenius. Late in 404 BC, seventy of these exiles, commanded by Thrasybulus, crossed the border into Attica and occupied the strong point of file on Mount Parnas.30, seeking to dislodge this threat, marched out to attack file, but, after an initial assault was repulsed, a snowstorm drove the force back to Athens. Meanwhile, more exiles began to arrive at file, swelling the size of the force there. The thirty dispatched the Spartan garrison of Athens, along with an Athenian cavalry force, to keep a watch on file and prevent the exiles from raiding the countryside. Chapter 2 The Battle The Spartan force made its camp in a field two miles from file, and from there kept a watch on the area. By this time, however, so many exiles had come to file that Thrasybulus was now in command of a 700 man force. With this army, he came down from file at night and surrounded the Spartan camp, at dawn, the exiles attacked, catching the Spartan force in the midst of waking up. A total rout ensued, 120 hoplites, just under a fifth of the Spartan force, were killed, as were three cavalrymen. The defeated force fled back to Athens in disarray, after pursuing for a mile, the victorious exiles returned to file. Chapter 3 Aftermath This unexpected defeat shook the confidence of the government at Athens, and the Thirty began shortly afterward to prepare a refuge for themselves at Eleusis by seizing and executing a number of potential dissenters there. The exiles, meanwhile, received a great boost in prestige from the victory, and new recruits swelled their numbers rapidly. Just a few days after the battle at File, Thrasybulus led a force of 1,000 men to Piraeus. There, he won another victory, after which the Thirty fled to Eleusis. A stalemate then ensued, with Thrasybulus and his men holding the Piraeus while a new oligarchic government held Athens, this was brought to a close when a Spartan force under Pausanias arrived, after fighting an inconclusive battle with the men from File, Pausanias arranged a settlement that restored democratic governance to Athens.